Do you know that I have never been to a native doctor before for medicine? I know. Then how do I prepare? <laughs> Under this very tree, my father told me that the greatest medicine is none at all. None? As in none? Yes. What one does not know does not kill him. You see this Oja, given to me by my father, inherited from his own father, is the greatest instrument that is held by both the living and the dead, both spirits and human. Really? You are going to the evil forest. There are evil spirits there. I will use this Oja to call you. Wherever you are, we will hear it. And when I say, move right, move right. When I say, move left, move left. And when I say, move straight, I will move straight. You see, I can see in the dark, like the Ezemo. My father, was the greatest native doctor in Asa. Before he died, he bade me never to take after him. Why? As a Dibia, the temptation to do evil is much. But the evil deed of the Dibia returns to his generation manifold. Oh. Look at me. A blind nobody paying the price. But you can see with your mind. Oh yes. My children will inherit a clean bill and wipe my tears. Keep the content of the bag handy. There is a spiritual chalk inside. No evil spirit will harm you when you draw a circle with the chalk and stay inside the circle. But why are you... Namde, don't ask me that question. Namde, one good tone deserves another. That's the saying. I love so much. Keep doing good, my friend. You will reap the reward of goodness. Inside the bag, there are eggs. And the eggs will be used for.
My king, I thought you were coming to bed. What use is my bed when everything is going wrong? Everything can go wrong, my king. In fact, nothing will go wrong. What do you know? What do you know? My king, are you going out? Why did you ever cheat on me? Naughty. I'd rather not discuss it now that I'm about to embark on a journey to the evil forest. Do you really wish to sit on that throne as king? Are you asking if I would abandon the quest for the awful so that you and your mother will be punished afterwards? Again, I ask, do you really wish to sit on that throne as king? As a king that will cease to mean anything to you. As soon as you have a child, huh? I ask the questions here and you will supply me with all the answers that I need. Stop trying to turn the tables against me here. I am not the chief. Not I am. You will say now or do. Namdi, your journey with destiny awaits. Is the evil forest. Somewhere there lies your fort of Asa. You have seven days to find it and bring it home.
Listen, if he ever returns, this Assad kingdom will be too hot for the two of us. Hey, Jabba, he won't return. That's what he said in the case of the princess. Yet, the princess is still living. The princess is a different uh, kettle of a fish. Her father's roaming spirit was all around her. This one is on his own. You better be fast enough. Your wish is my command. Mm. Mm. My great men of Asa, the signs are not quite positive. The king's in-law may not return. If he doesn't, what do we do? Why ask? It is quite clear. What we do is to chase the princess and the queen out of uh, the palace and out, out of Asa. After that? We crown the new king and bury our king. And you think it is as easy as that? Uh -uh. What else is difficult then? Okay. Who do we crown? Who else but the Chief Magnus? Hmm. Is Chief Magnus Okanamini not next in line of Asa Kingdom Suryahalak? Exactly. Dungwaya. On the surface, yes. But we are old enough to know and not to be told. Know what? That traditionally, Chief Magnus is not the right person to be crowned. What are you talking about? Sit down, Mr. Oputa. I say sit down. My people, Suruke the dance is a dance meant only for the spirits. Men who partake in, in the dance are only ignorant. I'm not blind. Neither are the gods I represent. I know that I know Chief Magnus' maneuvers, but it's only dancing around the antelope meat, which truly is not meant for him. Ezemo, <clears throat> what are you saying? Are you anyway trying to challenge our Ezemo? If he tries to mislead us, but Ezemo has never misled us before. I wonder. Yeah. Never. Thank you, Ibudu. We all know that the next in line in the kingdom of Asa is, is D.K. Okunamiri, not Magdu. It is his brother Oku instead. Mbano. Mbano. Anna. Uh, is there anyone here who wants to join them? No, not me. When I die, I would like to be buried honorably. The wind of falsehood has never blown pleasantries to a to tired men. But let us not shy away from the fact that we have a problem.
ask me now is if he will come back with the offer or not. Yes. It bothers me too. Mm. What if? What if he doesn't come back at all? If he doesn't, what, what, what do I do? What do we do? Come back, I'm not saying that. He will. Eh? Let's hope he would, okay? Okay. He will. going to be locked in here like prisoners. Prisoners? Oh yes. Prisoners of fortune, of course. But Chief... Shh. Your king is right now in the evil forest to get the offer. Evil forest? Yes. The offer is a must for him to be crowned. The evil forest? See, don't worry. Because uh, right now, the best seven warriors and seven native doctors of our kingdom are within. So in a matter of days, you are going to reap the fruit of your long labor. But Chief, will I actually become the queen of our kingdom? With this, your son, you are a queen already. Already. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Be happy, feel happy. Yeah, I can see the joy. <laughs> you are the heir to the throne. Not too long in the future. Father, you little boy. Went into the evil forest? This is the symbol of my kingship. The offer of the kingship of the Asa kingdom. Thank you. 
Good man. This is great. Uh, Goodbye. Hey. Ah. 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 And the child dies in the morning. Uh, which witch? Which child is a moon? Which you are Are you a stranger? I wonder. Ibalabia? Ukwakuna Miri died last night, just a few hours. After confirming his next king, if things didn't work out. <laughs> because our king. He's still unburied. Mm -hmm. Nothing much will be said about the death of Oku. Just like that of Dika. And the culprits will certainly pay. He said, Kiko The main obstacle is out of the way. Yes, one obstacle. But the main obstacle is in that evil forest. If he comes back with the offer, what happens? Mm. He won't come back. You better be sure of that. I will, but... But what? What becomes of me? As a more is no fool. Besides, the gods talk to him. From the way he looked at me, he knows. Ofe wushi eleoko nike. Ofe wushi eleoko nike. Well, it's very simple. I'll make you the Ezemo once I am crowned. <laughs> that is all I need. Your wish is accomplished.
ma biam. Papa, calamity, calamity staring at our kingdom in the face. Papa, hmm, okay, I need power. Nam kebo, is agum. Oh, we're in Jabamba. We're in Jemono. Nam deme, deme. Onyuku. Oh. Kwangaba. 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 Nekwe. Enye ngia. Odogu. Okike. Enye nje mono. Hmm. Nekwe. Enye kwe ngia. Odogu. Onyuku. Nie wiem, dawa. It's a long person, Devon Jebe. Nam Wakiki, O Dogunje Mon. Oh, is a look at me. Is a look at me.
He's alone in that evil forest. Let's just hope for the best, okay? They, they, they killed him! <laughs> they killed him with best! Listen to me. I know that our ancestors will protect him who seek to save their lineage. I know that for sure, okay? He'll be fine. Okay. But I hope you're right. I hope you're right. I just hope so. Yes, I am, my dear. See, let me tell you. They sent a little child to us that very night that we were on our way to save you in that stream. Do you know what our little child told us? She said you were safe. I know that that little child will also save Namdi. Okay? He will be fine. But I am so scared. I am scared. Why does all tradition have to involve so much rigor? Why? Why? Honestly, your mother never bothered to ask. Oh, good. It's okay. I wish Namdi would have broke it. This torturous tradition. So that whoever ascends the throne after him will not have to go through it all. That boy is a brave young man. Now I'm beginning to understand why your father insisted on him being the one that will sit on the throne. He's brave. He'll come back, okay? Okay? He'll be back. Yeah, he's okay. The water you ask for, Your Majesty. <laughs> you are sure purchasing fast. <clears throat> Better. What are you doing there? Chief, I heard I call you His Majesty. Of course. Don't you know he will become the next king of Asa Kingdom? And that means I'm going to Come the next way, Chief. I thought you said Namdi, the father of my son, is going to become the king and me the queen. <laughs> hey, shut up. Now, go back to your room. Go back to your room. 
You learn how to keep your mouth shut. Don't give unsolicited information. My king. Get out. Get out. Namdi. You are proven to be a great man. Watcha. How did you come here? My good friend, I told you I'll come with you. Come. Watcha. Come! Come! Come. Come! Tell me he's still alive. Mm, but he wouldn't be for long. Welcome. It's high time we got involved in the fight to protect and preserve the sanity and sanctity of Asa monarchy. Something is wrong somewhere. And now that Prince Oku Okunamili is dead, we can no longer fold our hands. Mm, but there's some um, more. Uh, we shouldn't interfere. If we don't interfere, the consequences, including Chief Magnus becoming the next king of Asa, are just too great. At the last count, he has killed his uncle, Idika, and his blood brother, Oku. Where do you think this kingdom would be if such a bloodthirsty leader becomes the king. The gods of our land should fight against such wickedness. The gods of our land expect us to fight for our land. I have asked the gods. They are not against our protecting the king's in-law. Then we have to do what we can. Mm -hmm. We have only three more days. But is he still alive? Is um, but he hasn't located the offer yet. Up to now, up to now, but we have hope. Oja, no, there must be another route. I can't cross fire, I can't cross fire. Ha <laughs> ha. 
What has happened there, right now? But all I can say... I want to tell you something. The battle has just begun. Go back to your places and offer your best. Is it more? I hope we are doing the right thing now. Certainly.
I wouldn't need you when I become a more.
talk to the women scandal. And see, the princess has made a fantastic choice. Hmm. Mom, I can see the new prince is finally here. So it seems. I think I like him. He's mine. Ma, behave yourself. Mom! Your sister is right. Stay away from our new game.
Ezemo. Waja. What is this? Stop that! Stop that! Ezemo. Catastrophe before men. When they refuse to read the sign. Exactly. But what is it? Waja. There is danger. Asa is in danger. Uh-huh. What could be the danger? Ezemo. My Oja. I lost my Oja. Somebody came into my house and stole my Oja. Ezemo. <laughs> Uh, you have lost your job. You may not see it. But you should have known that I have more important things doing here. Hi. Is the more you do not understand. Understand what? Eh? What do you, be, what do you want me to understand? Is it because your job is lost? What is, what is important about the loss of your job? Hi. Is the more it is the job given to me by my father? Uh, given to him by his father. I know everyone in our staff knows the history of your job. If you have lost it, you have lost it. No, Ezemo, with your spiritual eyes, you should know that if I don't see the other now and fast, Ndam will never have a kingdom from the evil forest. Okay. Ezemo, as our kingdom is in trouble, do something. This is our kingdom. So, why only women? Don't you like women? Of course I do. But seeing only women around makes it scary. You don't have to be scared. Yeah, seriously, you don't have to be. You're in seven hands. <laughs> All right, seven. It is Mwakuda, the little hunter, who really catches anything. I knew it. I knew it. Ah, I knew. Mwakuda. Mm. 
Namde. We have watched you very closely. The king of Asa bid us to aid. Married off his daughter to you. But then, we made her barren. You made my wife barren? That's evil. Yes, because we wanted you. And when you chose to come to the evil forest to look for them for, we knew you've come home. I want to go back to my Good. You have more love, yeah? Eat whatever thing you like till you're dead. You will never walk. All you need to do is sleep with everyone, day and night. We want to reproduce once again. This is now your home. And turn my male offspring to slaves? There's no slavery here. Just for things to take its proper shape and order. Okay. We are all here. Tomorrow, we'll bury the late king. And afterward, you will become our new king. Akwangwa will be the new queen. Where is the flute? Where is it? Oshi, where? Where? Good bush. Is that the bush? Good bush. You see, he has lost the flute. Hey! Hey! Our kingdom wasn't always like this. There were men as much as there are women now. A king and queen, as the name implies, the women were always in charge. The men cooked, cleaned, did the house chores, went to farms and served us, while all the women did was stay home looking ever beautiful. Just that. And prepare themselves to have babies for the men. Years ago, the men revolted. They realized that they were physically stronger than the women and started beating them at the slightest provocation. They started forcing the women to go to work, to do chores, to cook, to clean. And as if that's not enough, they even made them have babies. Men can have children. Exactly why the women should be accorded the freedom, the rest and the free will to be able to do that. Instead, whenever any woman conceives, they still expect that to keep walking, to keep going to the farm, to keep doing chores, to keep cooking and serving till the day she delivers. Look at me. Our women started dying. No strength push babies after so much work. I talked to the king. I tried to make him revert back to the old way. But instead, he beat me up. Yeah, sorry about that. So, I plotted a coup. They all believe we, the women, are the weaker sex. One night, we all went to bed with sharp knives and caught the truth of all the men in our kingdom while trying to make love to us. Indeed, that's Carlos, my God. It's a woman's world. In the morning, we rounded up every other male, slaughtered them. You did? But now, 
but we have to infuse men back into this kingdom. To serve you as it were. Exactly. That is how it was meant to be. I think you realize that you can't do without the men. You can't make yourselves pregnant. And if you don't reproduce, you will die and your kingdom will go into extinction. Enough! From where you come from, you were called Namdi, the royal guard that found favor in the eyes of the king of Asa to give the only child in marriage. How did you... There is nothing that we don't know from here. Nothing. We would have gone for your twin brother. I don't have a brother. I don't have a brother. <laughs> we would have gone for your twin brother, but he has no royal blood. You were brought up from age six to assume royal feathers. I'm not here to stay. I have a princess waiting for me. You will never go back to her again. Never. With my own. By the way, where is my bag with my own fort in it? Powerful man who needed a set of twins for a certain ritual. When he heard about the birth of you and your brother, he sent his men to work 
Your father took your mother and the twins and fled. In the process of fleeing, he made the men after you and your twin follow him instead of following your mom and she made good of her escape. He drew them far into the forest. He hid your brother somewhere because he was very tired and drew them deeper into the forest. He died from the wounds inflicted on him by the five men and no one lives to tell the story. <laughs> Uh, what an interesting story. Your father was a warrior from every sense of that word. And you are like your father. Your twin brother was picked up by hunters from a neighboring village. Just like you, he survived. You know, since you people are good in telling stories, why not tell me another story? And when your father didn't return, your mother panicked. She kept on till she got to Asa. As it pleased the gods, that night she died. And like you, nobody heard the story of her journey. I don't have a twin brother, please. Oh, you know. Is that the guards from the king's palace saw you and your dying mother took you to the palace before she passed on yes i heard about that but all those tales about my having a twin brother are just what they are tales you wouldn't have me here if you weren't great we saw your star we needed to quickly populate our kingdom Start him with me. No, he must start with me. Says who? Says I. Will Enough! I <laughs> Go inside the bush and look at the flute. It is here. Somewhere there. My queen, where is the princess? Okay, okay. Um, my late brother, the king, advised that we walk together. <laughs> and you left me here all alone? Ah, how could I have left you alone? It was because you didn't require my wisdom. <laughs> Probably because you were only interested in becoming the next king. No. It was because of the possibility that Nande, you know, uh, uh, will not return, you know? Is that your wish? My wish? No. I... <laughs> you see, you see, when one thinks of uh, success, one feels like think of a failure. Yes. Mm. Nandi will come back. <laughs> I sense danger here. I sense danger here. But no matter how busy the ant is, the lion is always the king of the bush. I've 
Oh, il est Aisez-moi. He's gone. He's gone. What do you mean he's gone? I don't know. Maoja can no longer locate him. I don't understand you. Whenever I blow Maoja, I see him clearly and he hears me. Then go and find him. Maoja. Then go. He must return. This kingdom cannot fall into the wicked hands of Chief Magnus. get me pregnant before anyone else. No. I told you to go for him. But you did not. Akwangwa went for him. So, she will be our next queen and the first to get pregnant in the kingdom. Let her be queen, but please let me be the first to sleep with him. Please, mother. No. Your wife came with. But you don't need it any longer. I know. But I have to be in constant sight of it. <laughs> what you need to be in constant sight of is my nakedness. And we can start off immediately. Uh, but your mom said uh, we can only start after my coronation tomorrow. You shouldn't be here! And neither should you! He's not yet the king to your room this moment, I call mother! How dare you? You know who we are. To your room. of the women kingdom. A princess? Yes. I can't wait to be your queen. Very soon. I have a princess. <laughs> the most beautiful princess. The love of my life. <laughs> no. The one that can't wait to discard you as soon as she has a male child? What do you know? Everything. Okay? But this is no time for stories. Come on. Everyone is waiting for you.
There was a king in the women's kingdom. What happened to him? I killed him. Years ago. But he's going to kill me with king.
You little shit, that's what the onions. What are you doing here? Is this how it's going to end? Nasa is finished. I am the angel of the Most High God. You asked for help. I am here to take you home. Thank you, Doctor. I must return to the palace immediately. You're free to go now, right? Definitely. Yeah. What type of student are you? And why are you here? Repent of your evil ways. Come back here. Come back. Ah! The most said that if he doesn't come back today, he will not come back again. Calm down. The day is not yet over. Mm. He will be back. Okay. Just calm down. Mm. Okay. Mm. There's no coronation at all. Finally, tomorrow is the day. 
you must come with him to the palace. During the coronation, I am going to give you instructions on what to do. Eh? I'll become the queen tomorrow. Yes. Listen, don't mess it up. This has to do with royalty. You must follow my instructions to the letter. Is that clear? Mess up my chance of becoming the queen of Asa Kingdom. Chief, never. Our ancestors, the gods of Asa Kingdom, have desired for you to be crowned. We do it now so that we'll be able to bury your father in law tomorrow morning. It is a lie, Mr. Mimon. That is not true. We have a tradition in Asa. The princess doesn't have a child. And my child from him. She is yet to conceive after seven years. It is a sign, my prince, that the gods reject him as your husband. He cannot be crowned. On the contrary, my wife is pregnant. Yes, I am three weeks pregnant. My husband. That can be true. Right. It is true. I am Dr. Ken. I tested her myself. It is true. She is pregnant and is a boy. Now, it falls into place. The man who picked the offer with his hands from the evil forest rightly becomes the king of Asa Kingdom. Asa and Kebo of Asa Kingdom. My master, the great king of this kingdom, chose me as the man for his only child. I will ever remain loyal to the man who was my father, my father-in-law. He told me that the journey to this throne will be a very tough one. He also told me that if I believe God, he will fight the battle for me. By the grace of God, I am alive today to be a witness to this. Who are you, woman? Nandi, I'm going to stand there and look into my eyes and ask me, Uloma, who I am. I don't know you. I've never set my eyes on you. Doctor! 
doctor is here, let us ask him. Doctor, what can you tell us? Yes, of course. I deliver this baby. His Highness here came to the hospital even to pick them two weeks ago. <laughs> Are you absolutely certain of what you are saying, Doctor? As a mom, I'm very sure of what I'm saying. Um, then we can't crown him. Oh. Who are you? Jesus Christ. I am Oluchu from Ebenebe. This man met me last year at Mbili Festival and approached me. He paid me good money and brought me to Asa Kingdom to impersonate the king to be. He brought me to Asa Kingdom and I observed the king to be. And I saw that we look alike in every way. I played a long ago because while I was dating Oloma, he brought picture, uh, photographers to take pictures. So I played along until Oloma delivered. It was when he tried to kill me but failed. That's when I started asking questions. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why are you putting? Let me tell you. Why are you I'm going to be the king of Asa Kingdom and nobody can stop me. No. Nobody will stop me. No. Nobody will stop me. No. Nobody will stop me. No. I is your brother. No. Yes. I did it. I killed. Chief Ridika. Hey! Then, my brother. After that, I now sent Ijenganga to go and sniff knife out of his me.
Yeah. 